Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, it's time to stuff those stockings. Stay tuned. So for everyone watching this video, welcome and thank you so much. I really do appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with me. I know that you could be watching any other channel right now. I really do appreciate the fact that you clicked on my video and that you are spending this time with me. And today it's going to be very simple, but oh so practical and oh so easy. And we're going to take these simple weekly planners that I found at the Dollar Tree. You can probably find these anywhere where discount items are sold, discount calendar supplies are sold, or your favorite craft store might even have some that are very economical. Mine were only a dollar, so that makes them extremely economical. And what we're going to do, very simple guys, we're going to take these planners and cover them. We are not going to reinvent the wheel on these. We are simply going to cover these and turn them into little beauties. They're already very practical in the way that they are constructed, but we are just going to add some paper to cover them and then we'll put some very light decorations on them. So I am going to show you how these come apart. So the actual planner itself is on the inside, just like this. And I thought about just covering this and tossing this, but then I thought, well, this is a jacket for this, so why don't I just cover the jacket? So that is what we're going to do. And then very quickly, guys, I am going to answer a couple of quick questions of the day. So the first thing that I am going to do with this is I am going to remove this sticker from the back. And whether or not I get it all doesn't matter because we're going to be covering this with decorative paper. So I have gotten most of it and I'll just leave that little bit there because it will be covered. So this is about six and a half inches long, but to play it safe, what I'm doing is I have two pieces of seven and a half by 12 inch paper that I am going to be using to cover both books. And this particular paper here is from the Authentique Mr. Collection and it's the Mr. 10. And then this paper here is from Anna Griffin. So we are going to start with this one and I have simply added double-sided tape to the back and I am going to just lift up that tape and again the piece that I'm using is 12 by seven and a half and I have tried to cover as much of it with tape as I can. You could actually take this outside and spray the paper with an adhesive and then I'm just going to take this and just try to flatten out those edges and then I'm just going to take this and get it positioned on my mat it's very sticky then I'm very carefully going to take my little booklet here place it down so that I am going across like this because I want to make sure that when I'm placing it down I am getting out all of the air bubbles and then I'll use my spatula just to go along the edges making sure that I've got the edges stuck and then I'll go along that middle and I am going to just work out any bubble activity that might be there and then I'll use my finger blade to trim out my excess paper and I am using double-sided tape so that is very sticky and it's going to give me a very good hold on the paper to this little plastic liner so let me just go through this and we're going to remove it And I think this is just a very fun little stocking stuffer because this is one of those things that we all need. You know, I'm always, even though it's on my phone, 
I'm always saying, what's the date? Or what do I have going on today? Because I am a very visual person. I don't know about you guys, and I'm very old school. I do use my electronics a lot, but I'm also one of those people who likes to just write it down in hard copy form, make a note in a notepad so that I can have something to refer back to. So now that we have this one attached, I am going to just take my spatula, go along that to get it nice and stuck. Then I'm going to bring in the second one and we're going to do these assembly style. And I am going to lift up my tape on this one. Okay, so I'm going to bring this one in and I am simply going to remove my booklet. And if you wanted to, you could place paper on your booklet. I'm not. I am just going to work with what I have here on the outer part. So I am going to remove this. Now I can take my seven and a half by 12 inch piece. And just like with the first one, I'm going to place it down and I am just going to kind of roll it down so that I can work out any pieces that might want to bubble. Then I'm going to go along those edges to get this nice and stuck. And then I'll just go into that middle, making sure that if I have any bubbling, I get rid of it. So again, I am going to bring in my finger blade and just run along the edges and trim out my excess paper. Very, very easy. And now I'm going to take my scissors and just trim around my corners where I have that excess paper. And then I can take my big old spatula on this one. Go ahead and make sure I've got everything nice and stuck. And so now I have my two covers. We are ready to put these together and then decorate. Before I do, I am going to go ahead and just fold these in half, matching them up just like this. So all I'm doing is folding it back to the shape that it had before I added that outside paper. And we'll do both. Okay, so now we have our two booklets ready to be reassembled. But before we do, let's take a quick break and answer two questions of the day. So I received multiple questions that were the same. So I am going to answer two of those today. And the first one is, after the pandemic, do I plan on offering any in-person classes or any type of a conference? The answer to that is yes. I had wanted to start that this year, but of course, like everyone else's plans, things changed because of uh, COVID. So my plan is sometime in 2021, I hope it's sooner rather than later, I will get back to offering classes the way that I did before I ever joined YouTube. So I would have class sizes of five to 10 people. And I hope to be able to get back to that. And once I am at the point where I can resume in-person classes, then I will certainly let you guys know. I am also still working on some virtual classes, virtual live classes. And there's more to come on that, but I hope to be able to do that. And again, the class size, because it will be virtual, will probably be 10 to 15. And I'm going to keep the class sizes small because I want to make sure that I'm able to give attention to everyone who is a participant in those virtual classes. So more to come on that, 
But yes, I will be offering in-person classes once we get through this dreadful pandemic. And guys, I certainly hope that we get through this thing very early next year. I hope it does not consume the year the way that it did for 2020. 2021 just has to be a better year. And the second question that I received was mainly around my passion for paper crafting. How did I get started and where do my ideas and creativity come from? Long story short on how I got started, I've always had a passion for creating, not just paper crafting, but creating in general. And that is how my mind works. Um, I can't even explain it, but my mind works in a creative way. I'm always looking for ways to do things. I'm always looking at things and seeing something else. So how that came to be, I can't explain that part, but my passion for paper crafting grew out of necessity. You know, very early on in my life as a young mother, we didn't have much money, but I had a skill and a talent and I wanted to be able to do things for people and I wanted to be able to give nice gifts. I wanted to be able to have those special birthday parties for my daughter. So with poster board and wrapping paper and tape and Elmer's glue, I was able to turn out some pretty decent projects. As I was able to afford more and as materials became better and better, my crafting grew into what it is today. For me personally, I probably have every crafting machine that's ever been invented, but it always comes back to, I prefer old school crafting. I prefer to just pick up my paper, my scissors, my glue, and figure something out and make it. Where do I get my creativity? Everything inspires me. I will see something in the store and it might be made out of another material and I will challenge myself to see if I can make that item out of paper. And I'm always challenging myself to see if whatever I see, can I make it out of paper? So my um, inspiration comes from a variety of places. Shopping, television, conversations with people. Um, it just all depends. And it's very difficult for me to put it into words uh, where it comes from because it just comes and when I get an idea I'll just jot it down or kind of sketch it out and then I'll keep tinkering with it until I get it to a point where I'm satisfied with it. So hopefully I provided a somewhat well-rounded answer to those particular questions but y'all keep the questions coming because I enjoyed reading them and like I said earlier just because your question wasn't selected does it mean that it's any less important than the other questions? For these questions today, I tended to go with what was asked the most. So keep them coming. I enjoyed reading them and I do appreciate them. So let's get back to finishing our project. So now that I have my jackets done, we have a decision. We can actually cover this if we want. I'm not going to cover mine because I'm slipping them back in the jacket. But you are going to have some scrap material. So if you wanted to cover these, you could. In this particular case, my diamonds would be going in the opposite direction. Or I could use this side of the paper. It all depends on how you want to do it. So yes, if you want to cover these, you most certainly can. So I am just going to take these and just feed them back on the inside. And there's one. And now we'll do the other one. And this is also a very quick and easy way to do an insert for your traveler's notebook. If you have these little mini weekly calendars, and they also have some that are slightly larger than these, but would also fit into a traveler's notebook. This would be a very easy and quick way of being able to do that. So now that we have these two, and I love these prints, and y'all know I love these prints because I've used them a lot during my Father's Day crafting. So I'm actually going to go into this planner sticker sheet here, and I'm going to grab just a couple of strips so that I can place them down. And we're just going to add just a little bit of interest to our little books. So I'm gonna look at that so I can get it straight. So then I'll use my big old spatula and get that nice and stuck. 
Then all I'm going to do on this is I am just going to add something very cute to the front here. And I am going to take this little sticker that says best dad ever and place it right here. And I am not sure if I showed you guys my sticker sheet, but my sticker sheet is from Photoplay and it is from the Best Dad Ever collection. It is actually a Father's Day collection. But of course, we don't have to limit ourselves in our crafting. It's for Father's Day, but we can use this anytime that we want. So look how quickly I was able to transform this little 2021 planner from something absolutely plain on the outside to this absolutely gorgeous looking cover. So we're going to bring this one in and I am going to do something very similar. So I am going to go through my sticker sheet here and I'm going to try to find just another solid color. And I have it here. So this time I'm going to take it, I'm going to bring it closer to the bottom like this. I'm going to lift this up so that I can make sure I've got it straight. And then I'm just going to wrap it around to the back as far as it will go. And this is the back side. So I am going to take one of my stickers and I am just going to take the one that says best dad ever and just place that right there on the back just to kind of continue that look and then here on the front i think that what i'm going to do I'm going to take the one that says handsome guy and i'm going to put that right at the bottom and let me move this out of the way so that you guys can see what little cuties we actually have and so now you guys can see why I personally am such a fan of stickers and sticker sheets because we can take our papers, already make our projects beautiful, but then we can add just these little embellishments using stickers that can transform the complete look of our project. So the way that I am going to close these, I have these little mini gunmetal colored bull nose clips and I am just going to add them right there as my closure. And I think that this is fantastic. Such an awesome way to dress up a Dollar Tree item. Doesn't look like a Dollar Tree item anymore, but that's how it started. And when you open it up, if you wanted to, you could actually come back in and just add more and more and more to the inside here. You could add some paper and then you could add a sticker if you wanted to, just to give it a little more interest, but I am going to leave mine plain. And I think that these make an awesome stocking stuffer for him and for her. And this is a perfect example of what I mean by any gender. All I did was change the paper and we now have the masculine and the feminine. You could also take these and change the paper and even make them into juvenile 2021 planners. You can make these for a teen girl or a teen guy. You could do all types of things with these little cuties. But here is what we've done with them right now. And guys, I hope that you have liked this quick and easy stocking stuffer. Perfect for 2021, which makes it a perfect stocking stuffer gift because 2021 is right around the corner and you can use it to plan those wonderful days that we have ahead of us in 2021. So guys, I hope that you have liked this quick and easy stocking stuffer project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.